<laughs> Social justice warriors can't meme. I'm going to go ahead and, and say that right now. Uh, I'm Clint. You're listening to Sweetcast. Um, today, I'm not a big Twitter user, but I just recently started an account just to sort of promote this channel a little bit. And I got I got totally sucked in today. I wasted time. And it all got started off by this meme, which just bothered me to no end. Not because, you know, it's anti-comic gate, which it is, but it's not even funny. Like, it's it's just an ad hominem attack posted on an existing piece of artwork. That's all it is. So I decided to fight back with a few memes of my own. I hope you enjoy. And it got me thinking that this isn't just a problem surrounding comic gate, that there's, you know, the anti-social justice warriors are memeing and ridiculing and pro-social justice warriors can't get the joke or can't handle it or whatever their problem is. But it, it's a problem all around with social justice. And to me, the reason why memes are so effective is essentially it's like telling the emperor that he's naked. He has no clothes. And when you tell the emperor he has no clothes, other people listen. There's so many people, NPCs sometimes, sometimes good, well-meaning people that just want to get along, but they're convinced that there's this, you know, oppression narrative that's out there and that that's the one truth. And all it takes is to point out and make fun of the emperor and point it, point it out so everyone can see it to open people's eyes and make them realize that, you know what, there's something's wrong here. So right now the memes, you know, they're kind of focused around the big dueling campaigns, uh, GoFundMe campaigns. We have your boy Zach, who's over $100,000 right now. And then Mark Wade, who still has not reached his goal of $75,000. More people should be annoyed with this. I mean, Mark Wade has got plenty of money, but he's using other people's money to finance his defense and his bad decisions. So let's point it out. So if you're on Twitter, I'd love for you to, I mean, connect with me. Let's have some fun. I'm really, I'm just enjoying being on the internet. This is, I'm having a good time. Usually I'm not this active, especially not on Twitter, uh, but it's fun. And I would really like to spend time on this channel. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be talking about Comagate in the future. How could I not? But I'm also going to be focusing on writing. And primarily, I'm a writer. I love to write. I've written all sorts of things, including fiction novels. Uh, I've written many comic scripts yet to be published. Uh, hopefully, that'll change in the future. And actually, this morning, I had a really nice opportunity brought to me, and that is to write for a web game or an app game, in-app game. And so, uh, yeah, I think that's a, a great opportunity. It'll be interesting. It's really in the early stages of development right now, so I'm sure I'll make some noise about it as we get closer. But I want to focus on writing. And so what I want to do is look at indie scripts. If I have to pull out my own scripts for comics I've, I've written, I'm going to do it. Let's critique them together and treat this like a writer's group. We're not here to bash on scripts. That's not my goal. What we want to do is just look at it and give give feedback. And just like in any writer's group, you're not there's not one person that knows exactly how a script should be written, but by getting feedback from the group, it inevitably helps the writing become better. Writing is rewriting. Not only that, but I want to focus on indie comics. So whether these are indie comics that are already published and we're going to look at the script and dissect them, or if you have written a comic script, or you know somebody that has written a comic script, let's look at it together, treat this as a writing group, and improve writing. I think the big thing that we can do is push forward with comic book reform. The best way to do that, really, the more I've thought about it, is to go with indie creators that are already existing right now, highlight them, let people know that there are other options, and there are great stories out there that are outside of the mainstream, and let's make those mainstream. So please comment below, let me know what you think about memeing and uh, the culture war here on Twitter. Um, also, let me know what kind of comic scripts you would like us to review together. And last but not least, it would really help me out if you would subscribe to the channel. I'm just new and trying to fight my way in and get get recognized, uh, get get some, some attention. So if uh, any subscription really, really helps, uh, it certainly gets more eyeballs on my on my videos and it you know it's really encouraging for those of you that comment i love love getting to know y'all 
Let's fight the good fight, and I will see you soon.